Good morning, folks. This video is on spaceweather.com. Looks like daytime, but this is dusk, late evening, after sundown, and these are noctilucent clouds. If you remember my showing you that the F1 ionospheric layer is extra charged up, well, this is how we know that the D region is over ionized as well. These phenomena indicate a changing planet as they are now being seen every day at lower and lower latitudes. This is considered a relatively rare Arctic event, and yet here they are every day. Apparently, there were a bunch of nuclear plants shut down in the U.S. yesterday. I've heard causation explanations from thunderstorms to high neutron flux. They all say there's no danger to the public. Thousands of tiny baby crabs are washing up in Hawaii. Most, they say, are already dead, and marine biologists can't figure out what's going on. Death Valley is living up to its name, breaking one of its own heat records for the highest low temperature of the day. At some point not too long ago, the UK released a bunch of new UFO files. You're welcome to click the link I've provided, but caution, I highly doubt they're going to spood feed us any smoking gun. There was a 5.5 earthquake in Afghanistan a few hours ago, way down south. We had a couple of mid-five-pointers rock the South Sandwich Islands, and although some aren't showing on this map, the South American subduction zone has been very active. We're always watching that and the west coast of Central and North America. And we had a 4.1 in Puerto Rico. That's the biggest of that quake swarm for a few days. Watching the right side of the sun, that flare was so big we registered an M7 while it had already turned to the back side of the sun. The Earth footprint and connecting electromagnetic tether are located close to the blast site that surged our connection, surged our planetary system, and accelerated protons toward our poles. We were already in a radiation storm from the last blast you can see on the precursor green and blue low energy spikes. We could see the red jump up one storm level soon, at least one. The dark corona hole will face Earth today and set her stream in motion to impact Earth probably this weekend. Directly behind her is an active region that has magnetic complexity but taking a nap at the moment. Bigger regions coming over the limb in another day. Right now Uranus, Earth, and Mars are in a line and there is a new moon lined up with the sun as the earthquake watch peaks today. I promised sky watching would get better here soon. You remember this evening display, the moon cuts through Mars and Saturn on the 24th and 25th of this month, followed just days later by Mercury conjoining the sun. Quake watch continues and Earth is in that radiation storm at high latitudes. Alaska, North Canada, Norway, North Russia, under threat if it goes up two more lines to level three. Eyes open folks, that's the news. Be safe everyone.